Hello, I'm Tim Whitaker, Research Director at EDIC Infrastructure Institute. Here I present the results of a study by Jen Yong Shen and myself, uh, examining how to measure the social acceptance of infrastructure. Specifically, we're looking to measure social acceptance of infrastructure through the use of big data. I will first introduce our concept of social acceptance risk. In the study, we consider social acceptance and social sentiment to be the same. Next, Jin Yong will provide the details of the methods that we employed to measure the social acceptance in this study. I will present the results of how we applied this to the wind farm industry. Finally, we will present the results of use cases and conclude. Social acceptance is obtaining the social license to operate. Failure to obtain this can result in large expenses or even being shut down. In the EDIC Infra ESG survey, social acceptance risk is regularly the second most important risk for investors after fiscal risk. Some anecdotal examples of social acceptance risk are provided in the slide here. We have the HS2 rail project as well as the East West Link Road. Both have incurred major expenses uh, as a result of failing to accept, uh, develop social acceptance. Um, it is important therefore to measure this in an ongoing way. I'll now turn you over to Jen Yong who will detail the methodology we implemented in this study to do this research. Our methodology to estimate the social acceptability risk is using the sentiment analysis. This is because the social acceptability is very close to the public opinions. Usually public opinion is collected through the surveys, which is very time consuming and expensive. But nowadays we have a large amount of data on the internet. Uh, which is uh, expressing people's opinions. Sentiment, analy sentiment analysis is uh, trying to using this text information to classify their poetry, which is uh, positive, neutral, or negative. The, the text can be a document, can be a sentence, uh, or even uh, very short phrases. There is uh, two main approaches to the sentiment analysis. The first approach is called the lexicographic approaches, which will use the existing dictionaries where uh, people labels the poetry valence for each word and phrases. The second approach is called a statistical approach, which is constructing a statistical model with, to learn the poetry of the text passage. This is a sentiment analysis process. The first step is data processing. In the data processing, uh, we are collecting the English news articles about ESG topics. We have the data cover 25 years history and the five major English speaking country. Of course, our methodology can be applied to any other languages. The second step is the sentiment measurement step. In this step, we apply our sentiment model to the first step uh, data to anal analyze the sentiment of the news articles. Once we have this news article ready, then we can start to construct a sentiment index. This sentiment index shows the trend of uh, the, in, uh, the public opinions towards infrastructure across the time. After the third step, it is the index validations. This will provide us the test of the robustness of our constructed sentiment index. In this study, we are using the wind farm as a showcase. Now let's look at the step of the data processing. The data processing step has uh, two purposes. The first purpose is to construct an infrastructure ESG news database, which will be used in the sentiment analysis later. The second is uh, to construct uh, the ground truth data set, which is uh, critical to validate the sentiment analysis result. To construct uh, the, the ESG news database, we need to filter from the raw data source about the news agency, countries, and infrastructure sector. 
And also, we need to find the ESG related news. Then, we need to apply the data normalization, which is to remove special characters, uh, taxing, uh, formatting issues, and some trash content, such as the URL and the advertisement. After these two steps, then we have our useful ESG news articles in our ESG news database. To build the ground truth data set, we first need to sample our news articles from the news database. This is to ensure the relatively balanced news articles in the data set such as countries, news agency, and even the mm, poetry itself. The second, we need to have our human annotator to read each news articles and uh, label the news uh, the poetry, whether it's positive, neutral, or negative. Since each person will have its own sentiment to poetries, so we require more than three people to read every article. The final ground truth labels or ground truth of our poetry is uh, compiled from um, those uh, human annotators labels. Now we move to the sentiment measurement step. Here we have the two step process. We follow the, the first step is we follow the Shapiro and his colleagues' approaches. In this approach, we use the sentiment lexicons to estimate the world sentiment scores. The article score can be computed as the average value of the word scores. This is a simple approach, but it can provide the nature of the social acceptability information. In the second step, we can build a machine learning model based on the first step approach uh, to improve the predictions or the sentiment analysis. In our current research, as an initial development, we follow the first step. Now we go to this index construction step. We're still following uh, the Shapiro and his colleagues' work. In their work, uh, they decompose the article's assignment score into two parts, systematic part, the FT, and the idiosyncratic part. We view the systematic part is uh, the, the component of the sentiment index. This is because each article will have its own characters and also have its own observations. The system only the systematic part is reflects the public opinions. The final step is index validations. We compare our index results against uh, other data source. This is to ensure our estimated in index is robust. So in these presentations, we show uh, the UK's government's pool surveys on the wind farms. Of course, we can also use uh, some other non-survey data, such as the number of projects awarded in the history. Here we present the results of the methodology Jin Yong just described applied to UK wind farms. We're presenting the UK data as it has the best validation data set, that of the BEIS Public Attitude Tracker Survey, which tracked public opinion all the way back to 2012. We observe that there is a high correlation between the index and the sentiment obtained from the attitude tracker. This gives us confidence that the methodology is useful in tracking public sentiment for the wind farm sector. In Having presented the results of the methodology and being satisfied that it does provide some measure of acceptability measurement, we now present multiple different use cases that can be implemented. The first case is as the case we presented here in this research, analyzing the social acceptability of different industries. We have implemented this for wind farms for the countries as described by Jen Yong, uh, but it is possible and we are starting to implement this for different industries around the world. Secondly, it's to analyze specific projects. While, we're anal while we have only analyzed the wind farm industry as a whole here, 
we could tailor this to analyze specific projects and analyze the social acceptability of these different uh, projects. Finally, we can, it is possible to compare the performance of uh, different projects in this social sentiment acceptability index, as well as their financial performance. It is possible to see if there's some form of correlation and determining whether or not an industry that is socially acceptable is able to be, uh, produces better returns. Uh, we, we are highlighting multiple different projects, uh, advantages for this sort of research, um, and it is something that can be implemented in the future. Key points to note, however, is that measuring social acceptability is location and time dependent. It depends on the articles that have been produced as well as what is the industry doing at a certain point in time. Furthermore, a key uh, point to raise within the uh, with the indices that have been produced is that they are producing an understanding of the systematic impact of social sentiment. As a result, trend interpretation is more important than a point estimate. Thank you very much. The results of all this, as well as a further discussion, are presented in a paper uh, that can be found on our website.